originally, and I think most people believe that if you're volunteering, you're going to give something to someone. But the fact of the matter is that when all was said and done, I got so much more out of it than anything I ever gave. When disaster strikes, innocent people can suffer horrendous injuries or death. But many more can be saved by volunteers like you. I had one gentleman, I asked him, how, you're, how are you doing? And he said, this is all I have left. And he reached in his pocket and pulled out a picture with his wife and four children. He said they were alive and the picture was all they had left. And I heard story after story like that. It was just amazing. It was more than I ever thought I would ever see as far as human tragedies go. As a medical or mental health professional, you respond instinctively when you see people needing help. You know how important it is for those devastated by disasters to receive the right medical attention and good psychological care. That was why you became a healthcare professional in the first place, to save lives and alleviate suffering. It's an opportunity for me to grow and it's an opportunity for me to give back to the communities that I, I live and work in and to be with my neighbors. Americas is a tragic example of how devastating disasters can be in Georgia. On March 1st, 2007, it was hit by a tornado that inflicted widespread devastation, destroying the town's hospital and leaving the building uninhabitable. It will take years for that hospital to get back to normal. All the windows in the hospital had been blown out. The roof was, was half blown off. Rain was coming in into the stairwells, it was coming into the emergency room, but everyone in the medical community came together and came to that hospital to work together to make sure that everyone was taken care of. And it was unbelievable to be a part of that situation. Of course, it's not just medical care that's needed. Disasters can also leave survivors with severe mental health problems that need expert treatment. Whenever you see people suffering, especially the young or the elderly, your natural instinct as a health professional is to volunteer. And now, the Georgia Division of Public Health has made it much easier for you to offer your services to disaster victims in Georgia, thanks to the State Emergency Registry of Volunteers, or as we call it, Serve Georgia. Serve Georgia arose from a need and a problem. The need was for a healthcare workforce that could be mobilized to respond immediately to mass casualty events. Disasters by definition mean an event that overwhelms a community's ability to respond. All of the standing uh, physicians in the community will be tied up in their regular posts and positions so that it's especially important to have a reserve force, if you will. The problem arose when administrators couldn't verify a volunteer's basic identity, training, licensure, credentials, or competencies. This meant that many volunteers could not be used to the full extent of their expertise. Since the people managing the incident could not risk the safety of the victims, unverified volunteers were not allowed to deliver medical care they were ready, willing, and able to provide. But that's no longer the case, thanks to the Serve Georgia database. Serve Georgia gives me the opportunity to take my experience as an emergency room and critical care nurse and volunteer in the event of a major disaster or event within the state of Georgia. This comprehensive database includes accessible, verifiable, and up-to-date information about each volunteer's identity, licensure, and credentials. This gives the state the ability to quickly identify and better utilize health professional volunteers in emergencies and disasters. The Georgia Division of Public Health needs as many medical and mental health care volunteers as it can get. And remember, no matter what your field of practice or current status, Georgia still needs you. Without the experienced physicians that we have in the Medical Reserve Corps, there would be a huge yawning gap in the care and the attention that would be desperately needed in times of disaster. Don't assume that a disaster won't occur in your community. Go to the Serve Georgia website right away and register as a volunteer.
with every experience I grow and it was an honor to be a part of bringing that community back together. Even though you're giving to the people that you are volunteering for, in the end when all is said and done you will receive much more than you ever gave. Disaster victims need you because when you serve Georgia, you save lives.